What's going on guys, Winter Kills here, coming at you with another post-commentary duel video. We got a bit of a fun matchup, I guess. Uh, I'm playing Spellbooks on the right, and yes, this is a video from uh, one of our previous IRL streams where we did some IRL duels. Um, probably my favorite types of streams to do, honestly, because I, li I like using real cards over online cards 10 times out of 10, honestly, but... Uh, yeah, so this is a, a video from uh, a previous stream, as I said, that's why there's those borders on the screen. Because um, I can't use, uh, you know, a really good camera for streaming at the moment, at least. Uh, but I'm playing Spellbooks on the right. It's a deck that I've been, you know, kind of working on on the side, not putting too much uh, innovation into it. I mean, to be honest, I don't think there's a whole lot you can innovate. Just play the deck like it plays, and uh, hopefully you get lucky, I guess. Uh, but this build is maining Triple Called by the Grave, uh, I think 3 Duality and Double Justice. I don't know if I like the dualities yet, because to be honest, sometimes I feel like I would still just prefer uh, a Temperance over anything, but, um, you know, the deck still has its flaws. You know, if you could know, if you could get Temperance and Blue Boy on the field in the same turn, you'd probably have a lot better of a turn, but um, these, are, these are problems the deck has had for a while, and especially now that the format's much, much faster obviously than the deck uh, ever was able to experience when it's prime. Um, turn one he goes uh, Gold Sour with normal Glow Up Bulb uh, because this is like an added tech he was playing um, just to go into the Nat Beast and it turned out to be like super clutch in this specific matchup. And I did opt to go first and he was able to see what I was playing and then the Nat Beast play was there. I had nothing to follow up on obviously like a large portion of my deck is spells, so that's going to be a rough game one right there. And we're just going to go right into game two and uh, get started. So I think I'll opt to be going first this time, uh, as you might expect, because the deck obviously definitely wants to go first, especially against a deck like Dino, where him opening up Nat Beast Conductor Tyranno is a uh, likely possibility. Sorry about the camera there, just had to, uh, I think, fix it. One of my one of my pets might have uh, nudged into it, uh, and then I summon out uh, Priest is there, revealing three different books, and uh, then I play Secrets as I have that third book in my hand and need to play that uh, before or after I summon the Priest, so I won't be able to, you know, obviously summon him. I guess I could after I you know search Master, but then I'm gonna play Master, uh, reveal and copy Secrets, and then I add Fate. Uh, instead of knowledge, because I feel like having fate, especially now that I'm going to have a priestess on board, um, and I already have knowledge in hand, I'm going to be able to get rid of that uh, blue boy for two extra draws, so we'll take that, and it's at four back row, and uh, pass, uh, with one card still in hand, so not a terrible turn, but off to a pretty good start. I think in this build I was playing one copy of Scapegoat and one copy of Instant Fusion. I think since I've cut the Scapegoat for a second Instant Fusion because I think it works a little bit better. Um, you know, Thousand Eyes Restrict is a is a good card in this deck for a couple of reasons. One, you could steal stuff to make Link Karibo, you know, and take an opponent's monster away from them. Or you could just summon out... You know, a card like uh, Shadal Winda or a card like, uh, you know, I guess, a Thousand Eyes. Use them as, you know, uh, knowledge targets. And you can also bring them back off a of Spellbook of Life later. Um, so there's some cool synergy there. And I think I was playing Life in this build as well. Also, I was playing Star Hall, uh, which I don't know if you guys have seen Star Hall yet come up in this game. Um, but he's going to pitch Miscellaneous Source of the Grave. I'm going to immediately respond with Call by the Grave. I don't really main called by the grave for the dino matchup, it's just for hand traps. Uh, and I do by no means think that spellbooks are meta right now, it's just simply a fun deck that I wanted to play on stream. Um, sometimes people get confused with how meta I think something is, and then I end up saying stupid things in the comments, and yeah, stupidity ensues. But regardless, uh, I think the call buys are a nice touch to the grave, or a touch to the grave. A nice touch to the deck because it helps them out in a couple of ways. Uh, hand traps are rough. Um, Miscellaneous Saurus is rough, so I guess it's just an added bonus to have it in this matchup, just like him having Nat Beast as an added bonus. Um, so uh, he's going to pass after that, uh, and then I normal summon Kaiku for turn, and then I link away that token into Link Spider because why the hell not get some extra damage on board. Uh, and since I can't target anything but tokens, I want to get that off the field so I can use stuff like, uh, what is it, you know, power and wisdom and stuff like that. And I can use my priestess effect, so I use wisdom there. 
make uh, Priestess unaffected by spells, uh, just because why not? Get an extra banish target engraved uh, to be able to pop the field cell spell, and then do some damage with Kaiku, banish that Ovi Raptor out of grave with the uh, obviously Kaiku's uh, battle damage effect. So we can put some pretty good damage in, and I'm pretty sure I still have Fate set at this point as well. Um, so he's gonna normal summon Obi Raptor. Gonna let the effect go through because even if I do fade it on summon, the effect will still go off. So there's no real reason to uh, fade it at the moment. And uh, the, the the kaiju play incoming doesn't hurt too much because I still at this point will have access to a spellcaster on field. Um, so he does summon out Dogron and he does give me Kamungus. Um, and then he goes into battle phase. So on battle phase, I'm going to chain Fate and attack declaration. Go ahead and banish three spell books to obviously banish the uh, banish the uh, uh, Dogaron, which uh, he didn't put in grave or he didn't banish, uh, which is a bit of a, a misplay there. Yes, I know um, that should should have been banished. Shouldn't have been able to summon the conductor Tyranno. But I summon out Scapegoat here in the end phase. Um, as he's not able to to attack with the Conductor, obviously since he did that in main phase 2. And since all the monsters are about to go into our Link monsters, um, pretty much given a free pass from the uh, from the Conductor. And he puts it back in his hands, he realized he wouldn't have been able to summon it in the first place. So that does get corrected actually, which is good. And then we're able to go into the boar load and normal summon another kaiku and attack for game. And we go into a game three. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, that was a misplay that I wasn't aware that happened, but it was corrected. So everything's all good. Again, I just wanted to show you guys this cool matchup because uh, I think spell books are a fun deck to play still. They're not the best. I, I mean, I, I honestly feel as though they could give us judgment back. Uh, and the deck really wouldn't make an impact at all. And if you think otherwise, you might want to rethink what you're thinking. Because a, a deck that struggles to beat Dino and needs to rely on a card like Borlo Dragon that is coming out by, via Scapegoat, which I'm honestly not considering playing anymore. Um, just because it's it's just not the greatest, honestly. Uh, maybe I'll play two copies of Scapegoat and two copies of Instant Fusion and cut some other stuff, but... Because uh, I honestly don't know how I like the Star Hall. Yeah, I've been, I, I, I'm playing it in this build. I just haven't played it yet, and you guys haven't got to see it. Um, but I honestly don't think it's that great. Uh, you know, it, it was. I kind of felt the same way about it with Crescent and stuff like that. You know, I was like, oh, it could be good. It's discard fodder when you need it to be. It's banish fodder for Priestess. It can get your play started. Um, it's a great starter card, as I said already. Um, but like Star Hall. It's, if you don't open it, it's kind of annoying to search, to go out of your way to search it when you can search other stuff. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how time goes on. I, ha I haven't put nearly as much time into testing the deck as I have Mermails and, and Photons. Playing those decks for several hours on stream and have not nearly had enough uh, time to uh, test the deck. So, we play Star Hall here. Or no, I think I'm going to reveal first. I reveal Star Hall, Masters, and Tower. For Priestess, now catch this right here. Uh, I normal summon Blue Boy, and instead of going into battle phase, I just summon Blue Boy and lose it to the Dolka, which is questionable, right? Um, I guess my only excuse is that it was late at night and it was on stream, and I wasn't paying the most attention, but it is what it is. Uh, so I play the Star Hall, and I play the Towers as well. Uh, boost Priestess up by 100 attack, but he does slumber me. Uh, so, <laughs> that, that that does suck a little bit. And he does slumber away his Petty Ranadon, uh, which is going to summon out some uh, Dogron, I believe. And then he's going to be able to summon out Giant Rex via the Banish effect of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno to go into Lagia, play another Lost World. Priestess is down, or Gamma Seal is down by 500. So is Lagia, but that's not going to matter too much because he's going to be able to swing over that with that Dogron. And then fucking slam into my life points with the rest of his cards. And uh, can't resolve the um, the tower in the stamina phase because we don't have any books engraved. He does have Drone Lock. He does have Lagia. 
And that is GG. So at, that's going to be it for this dual video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you didn't. Let me know what you think. Uh, spell books are right now are just kind of a side deck that I'm, I'm messing around with. I, I don't put too much effort into the deck. I think it could be tweaked a little bit. I definitely think it could be decent at best. But it's just kind of figuring out where to go from here. I got dualities in the main. Double justice. Uh, I might pick up a third copy of justice. Because I actually don't think I have three justice i was playing temperance with world but like it, world is just such a bad card because if you draw into it it just does nothing in your hand and then it's then it's just bad so anyways that's gonna do it for this video like i said i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think down in the comment section below hope you enjoyed this interesting little matchup and as always we're gonna kill the center out we'll see you guys in the next one